get out of those weeds. These are certainly not. quality fish that I've been catching but given the way this morning has gone I'm gonna say, don't, don't complain. I will take it well, if you want to keep some just keep those I mean keep them if they're keeper sized yeah, they've all been keeper sized. Just barely messing with it. fish I guess I should have I've had a couple other ones do that I guess I should have went ahead and laid down on them as soon as it starts moving Whack them and stack them. that's a bunch of They make it there, the restaurant sometimes. Do they? Yeah. What kind of fish? I don't know. Uh, some kind of white fish. It keep, comes, get it in, don't lose it. It comes frozen. Like super heavy, like a bunch of other food. You know? Yeah. A little bowl that has some pico in it. Let's see if I can actually get this one in the boat. We've caught some fish in here. I mean, it, it has not been good fishing uh, by any means, but we're catching fish, and uh, that's much better than the way the morning not started, fish. not catching anything at all. Um, you know, but it certainly is not like it has been. And we had a little bit of a cool front um, yesterday, and, and by cool front, I mean a Texas summer cool front, which means it was 90 instead of 105. Um, and water temperature has dropped about two degrees this morning and I've been catching these fish uh, up in this shallow water here I'm getting bit again up in this shallow water um, at about starting about nine in the morning um, water temperature has been like anywhere from about 91 to 94 degrees and uh, I'm not sure if that's what the difference is and and why we're not catching fish like i have been we've had a good time even though we're not just wearing them out but i certainly would like the fishing to be like it has been and uh, just kind of lights out with all real good quality fish but you can't have that all the time so i don't know you know, typically down here, um, you know, it gets so hot. Uh, August is typically the time of year where we start getting these runs of, you know, 110 plus degree days and we'll have a week or more at a time where it won't, you know, get below 110 during the day. Lane just got bit. <coughs> and, um, you know, the, the fishing will kind of get tough um, when that happens a lot of times and uh, fish will move around a whole lot but I really don't know you know today there's not really any reason why uh, these fish should have moved or thinned out um, in these areas that I'm fishing again like I said the only thing I can think is you know water's just a couple degrees cooler yeah, I'm getting bit maybe you know that could be the difference and uh, that's why I'm kind of wondering here as the day, you know, warms up. It was kind of cloudy this morning, um, you know, if this bite will heat up. But 
we've done better right here than anywhere else that we've stopped. So I've been doing really well uh, catching uh, sand bass, channel catfish both. Bite has been consistent. Uh, we've been catching good quality fish. A lot of days we've been able to catch a couple of limits of white bass, a couple of limits of channel cat in four hours. And uh, college since March because of COVID and we hadn't been able to fish a whole lot. So um, we just came out. We were supposed to be in Galveston offshore fishing today and a uh, trip got canceled a couple days ago because of uh, uh, the tropical storm that came through the Texas Gulf Coast last weekend and um, so we just came out to do a little fishing and hang out for a while this morning we started out fishing for sand bass and uh, we would find them and by the time I get my trolling motor in the water they've been gone that's not uncommon this time of year but the problem was this morning they wouldn't come back and usually they come back through pretty quickly we finally found some fish this morning some sand bass um, they were really small fish Lane's got another one on here you know we finally found some this morning and um, but they were just small and you know we'd catch four five six small fish and, um, and and by small I mean they were like four or five six inches long and um, so after a couple hours of doing a lot of looking uh, with the graph I was hoping the fish would surface come up on top they have been the last few weeks um, real early in the morning they hadn't been staying up very long but we um, after a couple hours of graphing and looking and being really frustrated we decided to go ahead and start fishing for channel cat and um, the first two places that we stopped uh, for channel catfish, we didn't even get bit. And those places have been um, producing good quality, consistent fish in excellent numbers um, for the last month, six weeks or so. Basically, every time I pull in, first cast we have a fish on and it's pretty much that way the whole time until we catch 15, 20, 25 fish. Um, in each spot and this morning we couldn't even get bit we threw the book at them we covered everything adjusted bobbers I mean just really fished hard in those two places without a bite then we moved and uh, have moved up to uh, same water depth same type of water uh, cover and everything and immediately started catching fish. And it hasn't been just lights out fishing, whack them and stack them fishing, but we've been catching uh, channel catfish, you know, slow and steady the whole time in each place that we've stopped. So, um, you know, this morning, the first two places that I stopped, um, nothing is different right now. We had a little bit of a cool front yesterday and the day before, and that's a Texas cool front in the summer which basically means that it was like 90 or 95 instead of 105. Um, the water temperature was about uh, one and a half, two degrees cooler this morning than it has been in the mornings. Really this time of year shouldn't be enough to make a difference. But one thing I did notice this morning, uh, those first couple of places that I stopped for channel catfish was uh, the water was much clearer than it has been. The water's, you know, typically kind of stained and, and uh, you know nasty looking like this but this morning those two places that I stopped the water was really clear and you could see um, pretty far down you know foot and a half two foot visibility so I don't know if that's what uh, made the difference or not that's really the only difference here where we've been fishing and catching fish versus uh, where we started and didn't do any good now I will say uh, I have not been doing good with the catfish bite early in the morning. I've been fishing for white bass in the morning, and then I've been going to fish for channel catfish about 8.30, 9 o'clock. When the sun gets up, water really warms up. It's hot, it's stagnant, there's no air moving up in this heavy cover, but that has been producing the most fish. We've had a good time. We've caught a good mess of fish. We're going to keep some. Uh, we threw four or five back this morning. Before we decided to keep them we're going to keep a handful of fish and clean them here when we get back into the dock 
so Lane can take them back to uh, Texas Tech and have a little uh, fish fry dinner with his uh, roommates there at his apartment. But we're gonna give this just a couple more minutes here in this spot. And they're all coming right here on the edge of this, uh, all these vines. I don't know what kind of plant that is. Um, but when you get right up against it, when you get right up against it is where we're getting bit. And uh, they're up underneath that stuff in that shade. This time of year, you know, they love that shade. And then anytime you've got plants and stuff like this in the water, there's gonna be lots of oxygen and lots of food there. So it's a Just good little place to try it up there. There's Channel Cat coming after his bait right there. He's fixing to get it. I don't know if that'll show up on camera without polarized lens, but let's see if it bites. There it goes. There it goes. Get ready. Lay on it. Lay on it. Lay on it. Holy. pretty good day it took us a while to find them but once we found them they were biting pretty good this bite has certainly slacked off some but that's not uncommon this time of year when this weather gets hot we have these long runs of 110 degree days water really gets hot and we lose so much water so quickly due to evaporation uh, water levels here will drop about an inch to an inch and a half a day just from evaporation alone that doesn't even include uh, any use. So that can cause fishing conditions to change quickly and change often. Hope you enjoyed this one. Learned some good channel cat fishing tips. And uh, I'll be back next week with some more catfish action. Hopefully be doing a little bit of blue cat fishing. Got some other cool stuff coming up as well. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe and hit that bell notification. Till next time, I'm Chad Ferguson, catfishedge.com.